Hey guys, Bardio one here. Just doing a video on me cleaning my fish tank. I'm already a little bit of halfway into it. What I do is I take out two five-gallon buckets of water, and then I refill it with the clean water. So uh, let me show you what I do. So my friend is lending me his siphon until I get one. It's just a regular little siphon, not the best one, but it's all right. So as you can see, I'm almost done with this side. I just gotta get a couple little things out. Then I gotta go over here. I don't even think you could, you guys can see that. Nope, you can't. Alright. There we go. So, over here, I already started. Um, there, I haven't yet. So, you guys are going to see how I do it. So, I just take it and go over the areas where there's poop. I try to take up as little, as little, the smallest amount of sand that I can. Alright, so now let me just stir that up a little bit. Get all that stuff that's there into the water more. I have a pretty thick layer of sand, so it's not too bad if I take out if some of it comes out. I'm just gonna even this out anyway. Makes it look better. So that side's pretty much done. Yeah, that, pretty, that side's pretty much done. Let me just quickly uh, get the siphon going again. There we go. So I'll grab one more couple little pieces. Alright, now I'm starting to this side. But there's still a bunch of poop there. Alright, now there's a shell. Okay, that's not good. Lots of, lots and lots of poop. Alright, so grab this up. It's really just a basic way of cleaning out the fish tank same way that most people do it, but it's a little more difficult with sand because it gets pulled out much easier by the the um, sifter or whatever it is, the siphon that's what you So I'm just going to go through the sand and angle it, shake it a bit, and it gets most of the nasty stuff out. Sand out. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, almost done. Pull some more water out of here. One second, it's almost done. Alright, that's good. Alright, 
bucket. So now that I'm done with the siphon, almost done with the siphon, I use it to fill this bucket up for my sink. So, uh, yeah, let me show you guys how to do that. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, just showing you me fixing my tank back up. So right now it's still a little bit crazy. Because my fish are all nervous from me sticking my hands in the tank constantly. But I'm just putting the rocks back for the caves that I have set up for my uh, catfish and any other fish that decides that they want to hide that moment so uh, I just sprinkle some of this over the rock kind of give it more of a natural look in my opinion just m blends it more because these are black rocks so. alright so now let me just dry my arm off really quick so I can get that light Okay, and so now all I gotta do is move this stuff off, bring this over, put it towards the back, put the back area of it, and bam, I now have a clean fish tank. Right, I do. Let's draw the glass. There we go. See? Nice and clean. My fish are a little freaked out, but shit happens. So, uh,. So yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you later. Alright guys, so now I'm back. I'm going to bring the bucket in with the clean water, and then I'll show you what I do. Alright, so here's the bucket. Let me just angle this down. Here's the bucket. So what I do, is my uh, water purifier. Hold on guys, let me just find my water purifier. You know, well, what I, the other thing that I do is I take aquarium salt, which improves gill function, it says. I just take a little bit and sprinkle it in. Then I take my hand and mix it in. The water's pretty warm, so it, dull, it dissolves pretty fast. It's good. All right. Keep mixing. Now, I put a lot less than it recommends just to be safe. Put a little bit more in. Mix it again. It dissolves really quick. Alright. So now that I do that, I'm going to off first. Alright, now I take the stress coat. I got a big bottle of it. Stress coat. And I take, for this, I take about where it says five. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's one of the second mark. It's the second. Um, no, I actually put one one milliliter, I think. No, I'll put like half of that. So I put about this much. It's not a lot. And put that in. Let that set for a second. One, two, three. I turn out that water's all good and dechlorinated. I take the bucket and pour it into my slightly empty fish tank. So this this part's a bit hard because just because the bucket's heavy and awkward to lift up to this height, so you know, let me move these rocks over. Alright. Let's see if you can see this. Maybe you will. Alright, good. So you know what? let me move this light so it's not shining in the camera. Doesn't need to be there right now. Alright. Good. Okay, so uh I just take it. No, actually. Let me try it this way. No, it doesn't work out. You know what I know what I normally do. Alright, let's see. I take my chair, actually, and I prop it up. So that way, when I pour it in I can grab it the right way. So I lift it up. It's different every time. This part's a hard part to do by yourself. Here it is. All right, good. Just pour it in. The 
the sand settles pretty fast. So uh, I'll bring you guys back when uh, I'm fixing the sand up and putting my tank back together. So, alright. Alright guys, so now I'm in my bathroom. I have to uh, fill the bucket up with water. So um, what I do is I take the siphon, as you can see right there, I put it here on the sink. And I just, so it, first I gotta make sure the water's warm enough. Then warm it up, warm it up. Alright, so now that that's hot, I turn on the cold, so it's cold there, and now it just fills up. I just let it sit there until it fills the bucket pretty, pretty well. Or to where I want to fill it, there we go. And get that in there. It just sits until it fills up. So uh, I'll bring you guys back when this bucket is full, and I'll show you guys what I do.